If you're a fan of the Winnipeg Jets, get ready within the next couple weeks to have some bombshells being dropped because I'm suspecting that uh, some big trades, signings, whatever's going to happen very soon because we're starting to get a lot more news breaking from the team and stuff about what the future's going to look like, starting off with the signing of goaltender Lauren Brassois to a one-year $1.5 million contract. His first year in 2018-19 in Winnipeg, he had a really good year. He went 13-6 and with a 252 goals against average and a save percentage of 925. That's pretty good. But then when you get into this year, he played 19 games. He started, I, should, I, guess I should say he started 15 games. He won six, lost seven. Uh, goals against average of 3.28 with a save percentage of 895. Now, obviously, the Winnipeg Jets defense this year was a lot worse, and that really has to do with Lauren Brassois. And I already made a video talking about months ago about why I uh, uh, talking about the free agency and what Winnipeg could possibly do. And although the video hasn't aged the best because of all this news breaking about the team, I did say that I wasn't the biggest fan of signing Lauren Brassois. And personally, I still kind of feel that way. I do think that this year's goaltending market, there were some better backups that we could have went after and pursued. But overall, I do think that if the team's defense is built up to a better structure and they're kind of more of where they were at in 2018-19. I don't mean that elite status of being like a cup contender or whatever but more on being an actual like overall good team I guess I would say like a solid defense and I think that's what really Lauren Brassois needs. When you look at how bad he was in Edmonton it was because Edmonton's, def Edmonton's defense was atrocious. Then when he finally got to a team that had decent defense he actually had some of his first good year in his career. And then after that, he had another mediocre year. And then he had a mediocre year followed after a good year because of a bad defense. That's just my take on it. Sorry I stumbled there a little bit, but that's just my kind of view on Lauren Brassois. But overall, I'm happy to have him back. If he wants to stay and the defense is upgraded, I do think he'll have a better season. And at 1.5, you can't complain with that, especially on the fact that it's a one-year deal. Overall, it's a really good signing, I think, for the Jets. It's going to be 50-50 if he plays amazing compared to what he was in 2018-19 or if he kind of plays to what he was in 2019-2020. If he can play a little bit better than what he was last season, I think it's a good signing overall, and I don't think the value is too high compared to what the backup market is and honestly I think it's a good thing that they signed him because overall I don't think Mikael Burden or Eric Comrie is ready to take that backup job just yet especially not Eric Comrie but I definitely think that Mikael Burden will be there soon but I do think that this is a good stopgap in helping get uh, Mikael Burden getting him more NHL ready and giving him more experience. Right now, Mikael Burden is playing, I believe, in Europe. He is starting, and that's going to be really good for his confidence, especially when he comes back to the AHL if they have a season and he can start there for the uh, Moose, and then that'll just really progress him into probably being the backup after the fall this following up season whenever it happens but yeah overall a pretty good signing for the Winnipeg Jets nothing to really complain with there when you look at their cap friendly overall they're still really fine they have 14 million dollars now a little bit over that it's 14 million 77 thousand and because of that they have a good enough to sign they have this enough to sign the players they need they can go out and look for free agency overall a good signing a definitely signing they needed to do and getting a goaltender and overall pretty happy with it nothing really bad to say here it's going to be interesting to see if he can play better than what he was last year but other than that I think we all know what we're going to get with with Lauren Brassois, and I think that most Jets fans will be happy with the signing. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you guys happy Lauren Brassois is a Winnipeg Jet for one more year? Do you want to see us go out and get somebody different? Are you happy with the cap? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're brand new to the channel and you're a fan of hockey, regardless of what team you root for, definitely consider dropping a subscription. We are on that road to 300 subscribers, and I really do appreciate all the support you guys are going to get in the channel. It's amazing, and it really, really makes my day to see all the comments and the supports that you guys give it. And I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the videos. With all that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Peace out. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye.